Hi folks, Bob Collins for Divers Supply. You know, the end of this past week, I had a gentleman come in looking for some new fins and this is what he had been wearing. This fin actually has quite a bit of technology built into it as the manufacturers kind of moved away from the split fins into fins that have a composite type of material. And what I mean by composite, I'm talking about multiple types of, of uh, materials. Like this has a, a hard plastic here, and then it's got a very flexible soft rubber here so that when you kick this fin, it gives you um, kind of a cupped or shaped charge uh, sort of thrust off the end of the fin. Uh, as you go into uh, maybe a, if you're trying to do a back kick or something, it's not the best in the world because it's just so, so flimsy. But uh, it's got a super soft uh, foot pocket. He liked the spring straps and stuff like that. So, you know, again, we started looking at what is currently out there. And one of the things that I was showing him was the fact that basically today all fins do include fins like like what we see here for little kids even this fin has a certain level of of technology built into the flexible fin with winglets stiffer on the center portion than on the outer portion things along those lines a lot of times people don't realize that when you use a standard fin like this, uh, the reason these rails are here, and many of them are so tall, let me see if I can get a, a shot here, these rails here are tall, is to keep the water, when you, do, when you do your kick, it's to keep the water from rolling off. And any time you have roll off, either in the back kick or the kick down, you can use uh, a lot more power than you really need to and or you're losing a lot of your thrust as much as, you know, 20% of your thrust is lost when the water rolls off the edge of the fin and goes to the other side. Like if I'm in a down kick like this and the water rolls off onto this side of the fin, I lose a lot of that thrust off the end of the fin. So what, you know, even in these particular, the Go Sports that I've talked about before, I did a video, I'll stick it up there, with things like these little uh, uh, guide grommets here. Um, it helps keep the water going straight off the end of the fin. But utilizing materials, uh, like all three of these particular fins are made out of a material called monoprene, not monoprene, but monoprene. There is a difference. And so when you look at this type of material, it has a, a, a bit of uh, flexibility that, a, of course, a hard plastic doesn't have. It's got a soft touch to it, which makes it uh, very supple when you feel it. It's a very rich feeling. But when you start looking at these different fins, especially when you look at kind of a standard blade style fin, you look at a, a tech fin, which of course is really good because it has vents for to help release the uh, pressure off the dead spots uh, in the fin. It's a fairly wide, short fin, so it's very easy to do frog kick because you're actually going out with the fin like this, you turn your ankles and then you come in. Turn out, turn, come back in. So anytime you bring a fin out, then of course then this rail right here becomes resistance as it moves out. So when they started using the uh, C-Wing, which I still have two pair of them, uh, to me they were very advanced and just wonderful with the, the bungee style um, unit on the end of it. I had used force fins years ago, but I, so I'm a big fan of bungees or 
or the uh, rubber bungee style strap so you're not having to do a lot of adjustments. One of the things that I wasn't big on on the C-Wing Novas was its certain lack of adjustability. Now, what they've done is they've come out with the new Supernova. And when I was talking to this gentleman and we were looking at the fins, of course, his eyebrows kind of went up when he saw the price. And I'm going to put a link for all of these fins down in the description there if you, you know, want to go and visit those. But when he started looking at the technology in this fin, it's pretty amazing. In all actuality, I have recently, of course, been involved in a lot of the, the Christmas and, the, you know, that sort of thing, Black Friday stuff. I hadn't paid too much attention, and these have been a little bit slow coming in. But now that I've got my hands on them, some of the um, uniqueness of these fins is, is pretty incredible. When you look at traveling with a fin, if we can travel with a fin and reduce the size of it, if we can take that connector out and separate these fins, then they pack easy. Just make sure you don't lose those little connectors. Now, one of the neat things that Scuba Pro was smart about doing with a set of fins, they give you a tool to take that little joint out and also they gave you in the tool they gave you a few extra of those inserts to put in there one of the other things when i was talking about adjustability i like a fin that uh, and has been a favorite of mine is the the mari's extreme because i'm able to actually put an extra spacer right here in the strap, one of my feet is slightly bigger than the other, so I actually use three spacers in my left uh, fin and <laughs> two spacers in my right fin. And I actually put an R in the left on my fin, and people laugh about that because they say, "Aren't you know, there's really no left or right to fins." But when you start adjusting these fins, then there becomes a left or right. And right in here, in this little joint right here, you can pop this cover off. It exposes right here, and right here, there's a pin that goes through here that the tool helps you take out, and there's three slots in here that that pin goes through. So you can move, now when you get these, these come in the middle position so you can take it out and move it forward if you want this strap to be slightly snugger or you can move it back or you can do the move forward or move back on one side or not the other or on both sides because the heel strap which again i love this big hoop to hook my finger in like when I'm trying to get up a boat ladder and take my fins off. That's one of the reasons I really enjoy having the hoop. Let's talk a, a little bit more about the actual technology of the Supernova versus the Seawing Nova. You're going to see much bigger rails on the, no, the Supernova than you did on the regular Seawing. You're going to see in the tips, the winglets, inside the winglets, and there's this large rail, and then there's a winglet, and then the larger winglet that makes a huge difference. Again, when you kick this fin, it tends to keep its shape much better. One of the other things, let's turn it over, one of the other things that you're going to notice is the fact that there's guides here and here to help keep the water from rolling off when you're in your up kick. That makes a big difference when you're able to do that sort of thing. You see that? Now, when we again look at the top of it, we're going to see that there is a, a little front rib that runs around here 
and it's on the inside or the back side, bottom side, whatever you want to call it. And it also helps keep the fin stiff and helps keep the water from moving to the edge when you're in the back kick and when you're in the power or the down kick, which is pretty cool. Now, they still have the uh, accordion, like what you see here, accordion on the bottom, straight on the top. The first uh, generation of the Novas had accordions on both top and bottom, and it tended to break, but between the Supernova and the Nova, the struts are much thicker than the struts that are on the, the regular C-Wing. So when you do your kick, what it ends up doing is it closes or goes into a, a position. It goes into a position and then it stops. And they use a fancy word, it's called angle of attack. And so it, it stops and it really won't go any further. But they went a step further. And what they did is this material here in the paddle portion of the fin, this has a certain amount of flexibility. Remember that old fin that the guy brought in? There's a certain amount of flexibility. Again, and what it does, it helps cup the water so it flows off the fin. So it happens here and They've added those same type of um, ribs on the bottom to again make it when you're doing your up kick. You know, technology like this is, is a little bit sometimes beyond words in the scuba realm. Now, one of the other things I'm gonna show you is that I like in my extremes is all the holes in the foot pocket. So what Scuba Pro did was if you look right here, this is a slot, this is a slot, this is a slot that goes all the way through into the foot pocket. And of course, there's also one right down here that lets the water, when you put your foot in, it helps let the water out. When you pull your foot out, you don't have the suction that you did with the older Nova and it just when just makes it so much easier to get your foot out. Here's another thing. When you do your kick and your kick is going down and your foot's in here, you may not really believe this, but it's true. Just ask any free diver. When you kick down, if there's any space at all around the foot pocket of the fin and the booty, water goes in there and as you kick down that water if there's no vents here in the foot pocket the water gets trapped in there it's called parachute effect so they've cured that by putting in these little slots and such and on here there's a anti-slip material we all know how slick the fiberglass is on boats when it's got salt water and water on it and stuff. So when you slip these on and you're moving to your step off uh, spot on the boat, then it's, it just gives you a more secure feeling. But I was pretty impressed when they started showing me uh, how they started incorporating a lot of the features of these different fins into the new Supernova for a flutter kick it's a wonderful fin. It's also really good when you're doing back kicks because again, you've got all of this stability on the back of the fin that you had with a, a tech fin. And when your foot goes out to the side, you don't have, you've actually got a little knife edge that separates the water when you go out and you're able to do your frog kick just like that, moving and doing a helicopter, whichever it happens to be. The technology of the new Supernova is pretty amazing. Appreciate you folks being here. If you haven't subscribed, reach down there and hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. If you're diving Supernovas, leave a comment down below. 
and I'd love to hear from, from you about your experiences so far with this uh, new, I'm, I'm not going to call it futuristic, I'm going to call it technologically today's fin. So again, I'm Bob Collins for Diver Supply. Thanks again. See you again next time.